I've gone through my scene and added reflectivity, specularity, bump maps, and normal maps to visible textures where it was necessary. One thing that it's really important to keep in mind is that because we are working in a color corrected gamma space, we need to go into Photoshop and edit our textures um, so that they have a negative 2.2 color correction before we apply them. It's very tedious to go in and do this uh, texture by texture, so what we're going to want to do is create an action which we can apply to every single texture in the scene to speed things up. Um, let's go in and grab this brick and we're going to open up the action editor through window actions and this will open up. Let's create a new action and call it exposure and um, the record is automatically going to be depressed so at this point we go in and we set our exposure to negative 2.2 and hit control S for save. As you can see um, this action exposure recorded that we set the exposure to negative 2.2 and that we saved it. So let's go ahead and stop this. And Now every time we want to do that um, we just have to hit that play button so, um, Bricks Rough, Coca-Cola, just hit play, close, play, close. And um, that's a very quick way of going through all of our textures and making sure that they are um, ready to be brought into our scene. So now that we've got all the textures and everything set up, I'm just going to do another render from my other camera just to triple check that I'm happy with my scene. I'm going to make just a few changes. We're going to take the hallway light and rotate it by about 25 degrees. The reasoning for that is that you can see in the render there's a black line running along the wall. The reason for that is that this light is shooting beams upwards and downwards but not sideways. In rotating it, what we're doing is we're making that black beam line up right along with this lower corner, which is where light would naturally be less likely to hit. I'm going to take the multiplier down to 0.2 and go into front wireframe mode, and I'm going to copy it and make another light shining like this. What that's going to do is take a little bit of um, light and imitate bounce as if sunlight is coming in from this angle, hitting the top of these buildings and refracting back into the upper section up here. When we're lighting, in a lot of ways, we're painting our scene. And it's important to remember that you can take artistic liberties and imitate the way sun would naturally look if your photons are not hitting your scene properly. I'm going to give that light a multiplier of 2 and I'm also going to go in and select my vomitory lights and set those to 16. In All I have to do is set one light because if you remember they're all instances of each other. You can see in the render it's going to look a little bit more realistic now. I'm very happy with this. The next step is going to be changing our render settings so that we can start getting rid of some of this artifacting. Alright, so we're going to go into V-Ray to start, and we're going to go into our image sampler, set it at fixed, go to fixed image sampler and set this at 3. Then we are going to go into an indirect illumination and set our first guy to um, light cache and our second guy to photon map. Set our saturation to 1.5. Photon map is going to be given 30 bounces. Um, leave auto search distance on. Max photons is okay. Interpret 10. Um, this look all looks pretty good. So now we go down to light cache and set our subdivisions to 1300. Pre-filter, leave this at 10. Mm. Let's set our number of passes to 30. 
In settings, we are going to... S this all looks okay. Let's go to light settings and set our hallway light to 150, our hallway light 1 to 900. That's going to be the light pouring in from over here. All of our V-Ray lights should be at 150, so that's good. And then our sun should be at 300. This is going to affect how many um, rays each light is going to be projecting. So you can edit... Uh, it's not quite the brightness, it's almost the intensity and how high fidelity each light is through this dialog. So now if we do a render, and this is what we get. As you can see, we've knocked out all the anti-aliasing problems that we're running into, and the scene is nice and crisp. The lighting isn't 100% how I'd like it, but that's just a matter of playing around until you find the correct values. So I went ahead and ended up turning off my hallway light and increasing my second hallway light to with a multiplier of 0.4 and upping the light settings on that light to 1200 and I'm a lot happier with this so now let's go ahead and render from camera 3 and here's how it came out I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial good luck with your projects